John and Viv. A couple months ago, we bought an empty cargo van and spent 131 days turning it into a cozy home on wheels. We are so excited to take you on a tour of our home. But first, coffee. Okay, y'all, we worked so hard on this project and we are so excited to show you the inside. Let me introduce you to the leaky cauldron because it's a house and it's not perfect and it leaks a little. Let me show you around. It may not be the cutest part of the van, but it is probably the most important and that's our cab. Welcome to our 2017 Ram ProMaster Extended Edition. We got this thing as one of the last few that Amazon didn't buy in 2020. And we got it with about 80,000 miles and it is awesome. It works out great for us. Welcome to the cab. Some of the things that we love about the van is that it already came with a backup camera installed, it came with a brand new sound system, and brand new tires. We also love that it came with a cab shelf uh, we store lots of things up there from gloves to a first aid kit, uh, anything we really might need. After the cab is arguably the most important part of our whole van, my barn door. Isn't it cute? I love it. <laughs> important part about this space is our headliner shelf and this has so much storage it goes all the way back I need a stool to get in there basically it houses all of our summer clothes um, my yoga mat and extra supplies that we might need all the secret stuff that we don't need all of the time it goes all up here welcome to the kitchen this is probably my favorite part of the whole van just because it's our only counter space <laughs> We have this beautiful sink, which actually is pretty deep and it does fit a lot of our dishes. Running water, and the best part about this sink is that this comes out so we can move it around, do different things, and then just pops right back into place. My other favorite part about the kitchen is my spice rack. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you all about it, but van life hack, all of my spices are attached with Velcro so they don't go flying around, and then when we need them, we've got them for cooking. The other awesome thing I love is that this knife bar is magnetic so it holds all our knives and it saves us a ton of drawer space. Most of our kitchen storage is actually up here. So we've got our whole coffee section, we've got some extra foods like our popcorn and rice, wine glasses of course, um, plates, bowls, all of our plates and bowls are wood so they don't break. We also have our water glasses, extra bowls, and two must-have storage items. First are these reusable um, Ziploc bags. So there's so much that fits in all of these and then you can just wash them and reuse them. Perfect for van life. The other thing are these collapsible Tupperware containers. So you just open this up, pop this out, and now we have Tupperware. So we can have like five of these and they take up no space. The rest of our kitchen is down below, starting with our fridge. This fridge is 12 volt, which means it takes very little power. We can run it all the time, and it's huge, because we love food, so it fits a ton of food. In our drawers, we have our silverware and utensils. Also things like our measuring cups, coasters, reusable straws, and the most important stuff, all of our wine accessories. Okay, the second drawer has all of our toiletries. This drawer holds all of our towels, all of my makeup and skincare products. Basically, John has like one brush and deodorant um, and anything else we might need. 
And finally, our last drawer has all our pots and pans and our stove. We have an induction stove top that plugs in and is just one burner. Super easy to use, super great. And then all these pots and pans. The other super cool thing we have is our strainer. This just clips on to the end of our bowls and pots, and then you just tip it out. Perfect and saves a ton of space. Lastly, under our sink, very important, we have our trash can, cutting board, all of our cleaning supplies, and our gray water tank from our sink goes down here. Also, van life must have this little mini vacuum. Picks up everything. We also have um, rags that we need, and these are all of our grocery bags. We also added this cute little shelf so that we could show some of the books that we bring in our van. The rest we have on Audible or our Kindle. These are all my essential oils. They are essential. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Um, and uh, just some extra candles and fun things like that. This is our pantry. This is actually our blender. It's an immersion blender, so we can put this straight into our mason jars and make smoothies, or put this in our pots and make soups and things like that. There's a lot of junk in our pantry right now, and a lot of ramen, because it's cold out, but oh well. John would not let me leave talking about the kitchen without talking about our paper towel holder, because it keeps all of our paper towels from just unraveling, because it locks. Welcome to our bathroom. Believe it or not, I am standing right in our shower. So when we're ready to shower, all we need to do is pull out our shower stuff, hang our shower curtains on these four hooks, and then all we need to do is unravel our shower and we're ready to go. So while we're showering, the water is going to go directly through these slats right to a drain to our gray water tank that we mounted underneath the van. So our water system runs off of a big 40 gallon tank. Seems like a lot for two people, but oh well. 40 gallon tank mounted in the back of the van. It runs through a pump to our hot water heater, to our sink, and all the way around to our shower. So we've got hot and cold water. Now the hot water heater runs off of our 120 system, uh, which Viv will explain here in just a minute. So we don't use it that often, but sometimes we need it to shower. Welcome to the lounge. Right now uh, we're just hanging out. We went with a bench setup so that throughout the day we can just hang out, uh, relax here. This is where it's like most of the time, but let me show you what it looks like when we're ready to eat. We hide our dining room table right behind the driver's seat. So this is a legume table mount, so it swivels any which way we need. And plus, isn't it super cute? Viv made this thing. So the way it works is that the leg extends from the bottom like this, and this will just go right on top. So our bench doubles as tons of storage. And since we van life in the winter, it was really important that we had a heater. So right beneath here is our 12 volt diesel tank heater. Now these can be kind of expensive. So we went with the cheap knockoff. We'll let you know if it breaks. We also are going to be van lifing in many hot places. So we have our fan that we installed ourselves along with these three windows that we also put in ourselves. So when we open all of them up and turn the fan on, it's going to create a nice breeze, keep us nice and cool. Also in our bench is lots and lots of other things. First and foremost, we're storing all our wine in there. What also goes in here is our laundry, both of our backpacks, Griff's food, board games, and any other things that we just need to store for a little bit. So our van is run by all sorts of electrical components and lots of different features underneath the van, but all of that gets put right into our control panel so we can turn it off, monitor it, we can see how much power we have and how fast we're using it. That way we can uh, monitor our power wisely. Also, we have a dimmer switch for our lights 
and outlets for our, to charge things throughout the van. This is our Weeboo signal. So we have extended cellular signal anywhere on the road. If we have one bar, this gives us three. The last component here is our Simply Safe system. It's an alarm system. It monitors the van when we're not here. It monitors the temperature. It monitors if glass breaks. We've got a camera set up for Griff and we've got a door sensor. So if anything happens here, we'll get a notification. Also, mom, dad, the carbon monoxide and smoke detectors are right here, so we're good. Welcome to our bedroom, where Griff is already taking a nap. <laughs> uh, yes, we do have tons of pillows, but the reason is right here. Proof. This is why we have pillows, not for Viv. This is actually a queen size bed, believe it or not. And this is not the whole bed. There's a secret. John showed you our living room, but let me show you what happens at night. The back of our couch lifts up and this finishes the edge of our bed so we can both stretch all the way out and have plenty of room. These three cabinets house all of our clothes. This first one, Half of it goes to Griff and the other half goes to me. I also have this cabinet and I use a variety of baskets, packing cubes, um, and just folding to put all of my clothes. But this fits all of my winter clothes, big sweaters, everything I need. This last cabinet is John's. And he always organizes and folds all his clothes so nicely. Small detail, but a fun one. We have this little tray, which comes in handy all the time when we want to eat on the bed or have snacks on the bed, or sometimes I put my laptop on here and work and it keeps a level surface. There is one last little secret, and that is our nightstand, which has this little secret spot. This houses some of John's sweaters, my hair dryer, our Bibles, things that you might just find in a nightstand. So we charge our batteries in a few different ways. The first way is right here with a plug-in. We can plug into any campsite or even just an extension cord from your house. Welcome to our garage. Ooh, it's dirty. <laughs> So here's the garage. We've got tons of stuff in here. Everything from all of our ski equipment, our boots, helmets, gloves, even our poles are mounted on the side. We've got our coats and pants hanging up. We've got some stuff for Griff, his crate and his bed. We've got our chains to drive in the snow. We've got an extra gallon of diesel to heat up our little heater and something that helps us get up on the roof to get our skis, our snowboards, and to maintenance our solar panels. Check it out. We figured if somebody was gonna try to steal something from the roof, we'd make it hard and not just leave a ladder right up to the top. So instead we have our own that we pull out. Come on. This is my favorite part about this ladder. Oh. <laughs> How satisfying is that? For those of you who are interested in our electrical system, it's actually pretty simple. We bought most of our components from Victron, so we have three ways that we get power in our van. The first way is our solar panels. We have Renogy solar panels, which go down to our Victron charge controller, which charges our Battleborn batteries. <laughs> for anybody who cares, there's all of your names for you. The other two ways we get power 
our, what John showed you, our shore power box, which goes to our 3000 watt inverter. Yes, 3000 watts is a super high inverter, but I have a blow dryer and we have an induction cooked up, so we needed that high of an inverter. The third way we get power is we have a DC-DC charger from Victron that connects to the battery of our car. So when we drive, we are also charging our batteries. This means if we have sunny skies, we're good to go. But if we're in the Pacific Northwest, which we are right now, and it's cloudy all of the time, we can just take an hour drive and our batteries are charged up. Our whole electrical system is behind this panel right here, which we have access to from the garage. We have two systems, our 12 volt and our 120 volt system. 12 volt is our lights, our fridge, our fan, things that can run all the time um, and use little power. Our 120 requires the inverter, which we turn on from our touchscreen panel. There's also a bunch of fuses in between every single electrical component. So if something blows, it'll just trip a fuse and we won't start a fire, hopefully. Our van is set up for powder chasing through the ski slopes this winter. But in the summer, we're gonna have a whole new setup um, from a roof deck to all summer things in our garage, and we are so excited for that too. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We put a lot of windows in this van ourselves because we wanted to be able to see all around us and just have that extra open feel. But that means we needed something for privacy and to regulate the temperature. So my mom and I made these window coverings. They are Reflectix on one side and then just a cute material on the other. And they fit into all of our windows, which helps regulate the temperature and keeps people from looking in. Van life has its ups and downs and we hope to capture as much of it as possible. But we're really, really thankful that we were able to bring you guys into and share a piece of our home. We will be on the road as far in the future as we possibly can see, um, capturing testimonies and capturing our adventures. So we really hope that you'll subscribe and just follow us along this adventure. In the description down below, you're gonna find a bunch of links for all the stuff that we used in the van. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. There's also gonna be a link to our website where you can see some of the blogs we've written, some of the travel stories, and just get to know us a little better. Thanks for hanging out with us and we hope to see you on the road. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Cheers! Wait, no. What do you say with coffee? Are you ready? No. Let <laughs> okay. <laughs> a brand new sound system, a drinking dog in the background, and brand new snow tires. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. no. Don't say away we go. <laughs> comes from our big 40 gallon water tank mountain mounted in the back of the van. <laughs> you can simply safe. Welcome to simply safe. Alarm off. <laughs> this makes us has three. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we could need. Here's that water gallon tank before the years. Did that have some? <laughs> no stop. <laughs> to service our solar panels. So we needed that much power. <laughs> we live here. <laughs> a cappuccino. Also, if you can find the four secret Harry Potter things in this whole video, we'll send you coffee from somewhere cool. Instagram us.